Hi guys, welcome back. We're on Tour Dridges. If you're new here, we're a full-time travel couple from the UK. We are currently in Casablanca in Morocco and today is a travel day. We're traveling from Casablanca all the way to Rabat on the first class Al Barak train. We have done it before. We did it back last year, I think June, but we did the second class and everyone told us we had to try the first class. So that's what we're doing today. But look at this train station, it is stunning. We're gonna grab some train snacks at Tendi's. This is such a nice place. You can get tea, coffee, and you've got loads of sandwiches, bagel. These bagels, I might have to get a bagel, it looks so good. Salads, loads of wraps, and then over here you've got like desserts. But I think we need train snacks. You need train snacks on a travel day. Let's look at this. What's that? I don't know. Oh, it's chickpeas, isn't it? I'm gonna grab this. This looks well nice, like a granola yogurt. I'm not feeling like bread and starchy things, so something a bit more lawyer. We've also got like fresh cakes. Uh, yes, please. We've got the goods. I think we can go down to like the area the, you wait. Uh, <laughs> Waiting platform. area? Platform, that's the word I was trying to think of. Um, we just got to go through the scanner thing, I think. Let's go and have a look, I don't know. Yeah. We've just checked the board and we're platform four. Here it is. Hello. Hello. Just wait here after five minutes, go down platform number four. Number four, thank you. We're in. So easy, our tickets are literally on our phone. Straight through. It's not open yet, so we've got to wait in this area. Do a little sum up, like, which Brianne didn't mention. So this is Africa's fastest train. It was opened in November 2018, and it travels between Tangier and Casablanca. It travels up to 320 kilometers an hour, so it's pretty fast. They call it a high-speed rail, we call it a bullet train, and we'll probably put it as a bullet train in our thumbnail and our total. There it is. It actually looks like a bullet train, come on. We've literally gone all the way to the front of the train to try and get like good thumbnails, and then we've got to walk all the way back because our carriage is number two, like right near the beginning. It should be worth it for the thumbnail. Things you do for YouTube. Where's my ticket? Books. 35. Alright, let's go. Just here. Down there? Yeah. Down there then. This is cool. So we've got like storage here. Should we put our bags here? Yeah. Keep that one. Pop our bags here. Do you have mine then? Pop it there. 32 and 35. Whoa. Okay. Well big window. seats. They're massive. Window? Uh, obviously we've been on the second glass. I feel like nearly twice as big. We've got loads of room. Look at it, look at Ben's like wide legs and he's still not even taken off it. Yeah. Loads of leg room. So I'll show you around our seat. But as I said, these are way more comfortable. Looks like we've got a similar sort of like setup. Obviously you get your table, little thing for your reading there. Two plug outlets, little bin, footrest. Obviously this for like storage. Your seat actually goes back. Oh wow. It's all like motorised there. So obviously part of the problem with this being so fast is you don't get long on it. And where this is comfortable, this is the sort of one that you would happily spend, I could spend like a few hours on it. You could read, go on your laptop. It's so comfortable. We're in like a small carriage and it's just this compartment here. I, I assume just this compartment, upstairs and downstairs, is first class. Once we get moving, we'll have a look, we'll sort of check every, all the sort of surrounding areas. I haven't even seen where the toilet is yet. Sort of going with the flow. We've got loads of overhead storage there as well. And then obviously you saw the storage bit at the front. And we've got a blind here so we can open and close it. I can't believe how much room there is. You've got like your armchair and it's like a velvet texture. It's not like a plastic sticky, te sticky texture. It's really nice. I'm just so gutted. It's only 40 minutes. It's always the best rides of the shortest. Always. Oh, we're off. It's going now. So the guy's just come around to check our tickets, got them ready on our phone. Other tables are like some people facing each other with a table in the middle. Thank you. We're in the right place. Ben's chickpeas he got from Tendi's at hot, so he wants them now. Of course. Mm. They're like sweet and they've got like a um, sun dried tomato sort of taste. It's a little bit like Italian vibe. Yeah, it looks quite oily as well. Yeah. Nice yeah, though. Yeah, it is oily. Really nice. Right, we're going to show you like some of the facilities, like obviously like the canteen area. You've also got the toilets and stuff, and we haven't actually showed you anything yet. How'd you get around this then? Oh, <laughs> 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 So we've got one toilet there, and then if we go upstairs. There's a toilet there as well. Toilet there. I thought there might be a 
it's signed like pouring into the canteen. Oh well, wow. I can see there. Oh, Ben's gone without me. Like sit in your seats, this is like another area you've got, so it's been a like proper, proper, comfortable, mm. proper comfortable ride. You've got like massive open windows so you can watch the scenery go by. I'm loving it, I'm loving the album. Cheers. Cheers. Right, so we're going to take this back to our seat. It's um, obviously being a train, a little bit wobbly. So this is the second glass. Yeah, the, ca the, uh, the actual train cabins are surprisingly small. I'm nearly hit my head, but we had to the step. But yeah, that's the second class, that cabin. And then we're back in the first class where we are. Right, as we head into Rabat, I just want to ask our community, because we love you so much, what should we do in Rabat? And if you're a local, where the locals hang out, where the locals go. What do you, what do you not see on YouTube? What do you want to see on YouTube? Somewhere good to eat, somewhere cheap, and somewhere where locals eat. Because we love food, and we want to want to try a really like proper like Moroccan meal, but at a reasonable price. Because we can go to these five-star restaurants, but we can't afford them. We have made it to Rabat, the capital city of Morocco, with nearly 600,000 people living here. It's actually quite smaller than Casablanca. It is a lot smaller. Very, this is very nice. I want to say shout out to that train. That was brilliant. So good. Absolutely brilliant. And these train stations are unreal. This is just beautiful. I can't believe how quiet it is. It is. There's no one here. Well, no. How do we get out of it? Oh, up there. But look at it. Just so nice. All the train stations here are like mega, like modern, isn't it? Beautiful and like really like architecture designs mm. compared to our like crappy ones in England. This is yeah. like a 10, ours is like a three. So people that comment go, oh, you're surprised um, Morocco has um, modern stuff and not camels and deserts. We know that, but it's got a lot more better modern stuff than yeah. our stuff in our country. We're just impressed. In Europe. Yeah. Very impressed. I was very impressed by that, that train. We want to do the Atlas as well. I've heard good things about that. Next and trip. Next trip, and I'm very impressed with these, these stations as well. I do recommend Good. that first class. It is a, just a little bit better than second oh, class. Seats are great, aren't they? They're great, yeah. really comfortable. I'm not sure on the price. I think it's around thirty dollars, maybe. But we actually didn't pay full price for ours. Um, let's just say we knew a guy who worked yes. at the train station <laughs> and sorted us out so we got like a really good discount let's just say it's who you know not what you know all right exactly wow ben literally just said to me this looks like an airport terminal ben is just walking out our direction to our place but only like a 10 minute walk so we can actually walk to our accommodation it smells mm. like a department store it does, doesn't it? Yeah, remember Debenhams when you used to walk in Debenhams? Yeah. So, so it looks shiny, clean, no litter, and it's not too busy and crowded. And there's just everything here, shops, food, everything. All right, let's head down and get out of there. Ben actually put the other train station in, so it isn't a 10 minute walk, it's about a 50 minute walk. We're still gonna walk it, because it's a beautiful day, and we want to see the city. The thing is, I actually feel like walking. Yeah, I do actually. It's, it's a beautiful day. First impressions, but been here before. But first impressions this time. Absolutely beautiful, clean, <laughs> modern, beautiful trees everywhere. Love it. Not love too it. hectic. Not too hectic. Love, love Rabat. It's such a chill tea. What I also want to say about Morocco, what I do really love is just 
getting around it's not busy there's not too many cars on the road you don't very often queue in traffic i don't think there's any traffic lights either well think, there's a few i think the problem is with us we're so used to asia we spend, spend more time in asia than anywhere else in the world and it's just so many people in asia we come here and it's just it's lovely it's a privilege i definitely think this part of the world like africa way it's definitely so underrated and so many more people should come here. We want, to see, we want to see more of North Africa, I think. Well, we've walked a majority of the way. I think we've got about 20 minutes left, but we've come to a tram line and we're like, we love the tram, so let's jump on there. It should be directly outside our accommodation. Where are you using it? Yeah, there should be a machine by that guy in the red coat. Six. Oh, have you got enough? Is that a two, please, yeah. be a two? Yes, literally just enough. Oh, Alright, we're literally on there for like two minutes. We got told off by the conductor on there to not film. It's a bit unusual on public transport, but yeah, but I suppose it's rules as rules. But this was only six Durham, so it's super cheap to get round. I think it's just like one end to the other. So some nice girls that were on the tram with us come up to us and said, um, were you filming on there? And we were like, yeah. And she said, it's fine, you're allowed to film. I don't know why she said that. So I suppose you are. And they wanted our YouTube channel, obviously. But we are actually in the Medina. We wasn't sure, we thought we were on the outskirt, but we're actually in it. I think we're not by like all the main shops and restaurants. Yeah, this actually, like this bring back memories. So if you followed us from our last series in Morocco, this is where we sat in at the uh, honey cake. Which actually, I don't think it has any honey in it. Which doesn't have any honey, the, yeah. the pastry thing. We thought it was honey because there's bees around it. Yeah. This is one of the best markets as well. We got like fake trainers. Oh, you got your watch as well, didn't you? Your yeah. Rolex, which he lost on a stag do the week later. But this is the best fake market we have ever been to. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. There's our passports. <laughs> we're finally in our accommodation i'll be honest right these medinas they are a maze and we had an absolute nightmare we was like knocking on random people's doors we asked the guy that he was selling pastries out the front and he showed us where to go so we're eventually here and i'll tell you what hospitality incredible and they were so nice look what we've got some nice mint tea, very sweet as well. There's some biscuits. Best thing about this room, let me just show you quick. Here's what it is, you can see what you see. We've got a fridge as well, kettle, all the stuff we need. As soon as I come in, I was like, this, uh, it's nice, but there's no toilet. It said there's a toilet from the reservation. In this cupboard, you'd never believe it. There's a toilet and a shower. I wasn't expecting that. There was a benefit, right? We have actually got the whole hotel to ourselves. So there's two more bathrooms we can use. We're obviously gonna enjoy our tea, settle in a bit, probably unpack. Well, Rian's probably gonna unpack. <laughs> and then we'll see what we're gonna do for dinner. But we are right bang smack in the Medina. We're gonna be here for three days. So I'm thinking probably two videos we're gonna do. All right, that's where we're staying. Let's not forget. Yeah. <laughs> Look, this is how hard it is to find it. It's like down this little bit. And then you've got like, Ben, Ben. Blindside. But literally, we've just walked out of our place and we're in the Medina. It's quite busy. I find like the Medinas get busier in the evening, don't you? Yeah, as it sort of gets cooler. Cooler, yeah. Quite cool now, that's what we're Yeah, like, jackets. jackets is up. I love this Medina. This is my favorite Medina in Morocco. 100%. There's a lot of prices and things as well. We've been seeing trainers for about 150. Yeah, it's so cheap as well. Yeah. I'm definitely going to have to get a pair, but I've got no room or luggage. So yeah, I want to get I'm... a pair, but it's... They don't do your size, do they? they? Do my size, really. But look at this. It's just, look at the flag. Morocco flag in there. I've got to say, now it feels like we're in Morocco. Totally changed. This, this is what I love. This is what I miss about Morocco. Last time we left Morocco, I was all over this, but it's changed so much. Hello, Hello thank bro. You. Your shop? What do you sell? Oh, that, yeah. Cream. Uh, maybe later. Later, later. Thank you. Thank you. And now we've ended up down Mohammed the Fifth Street, which is the food heaven. Like, literally, we've been Such walking along street. saying, we need to try there, we need to try there. It's a, so busy along it, and so much mixture of food, sweet, I saw some baklavas and they're massive. Ben promised me I can come and get some another day. 
but not today because we're going to be a little bit good because we feel like we've ate a lot today and I want to save myself for dinner. I saw this place was really popular and busy earlier on so we're going to grab some bits for it. I think they call it like a sweet shop, I'm not sure. It's like a hole in the wall here. What do you all do? Instagram. This is dangerous, it's literally outside our place. Yeah, we're gonna just get inside our place first and then we'll have a look, see what we've got and try some. I'll just sit here and pick the best ones, yeah. if you understood me. Look at the fancy box. This place looks very popular, as we said, it was queuing 1928. So it's been running for quite a while. I can imagine it like a family business. But let's see what we got in it. Oh, wow. Gosh, where do I start? I think this one, this one, it's got like, Mmm, sugar. Pure sugar on it. Mmm. Oh my god, that is unreal. It's got like a lemony zen. This is the other one that I was like, this looks wow cool. I hope that's peanuts. Might be. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really nice. It's not really peanut buttery, but it's nice. But we've got all these, but these are going to be our dessert for later. We've even got like a sticky baccalava kind of pastry one. All right, I'll try it. Oh, that's the best. It's like a syrupy middle. I think that's the end of the day. We're just gonna go out and grab some food in a bit. Nothing exciting, we're quite lazy in the evening, but it's been a great day to go back on one of the best trains I think we've ever been on. It's just a shame it's so short. Maybe next time we have to do it Tangier all the way to Casablanca so we can try for a longer period. It's great to be back in Rabat. It's one of our favorite cities, I have to admit. The Medina's the best, the food's amazing and the people are just so nice and it's very local and traditional. I'm gonna leave you here. Make sure you watch our next video when we explore the modern side of Rabat. Subscribe. We have done it, we did it back. Whoa, these are well called the seats. <coughs> Soft, it's not really peanut butter. It's not really peanut butter, but oh my god, it's not really peanut butter buttery. Mmm. It is so dangerous that it's on.